What is going on guys, it's C17 and I'm back with another No Money Spent episode and in this episode I will be going over the new buzzer beater packs that have dropped today and a few new purchases and I may even go into a triple threat game. So today four buzzer beater players were released. So this Diamond Dennis Scott, Pink Diamond Sam Cassell and two Opals being Kevin Love and Mitch Richmond. Now I've actually bought two of cards. One of them is a Sam Cassell who goes for 14k. He is not good though. I've tried out his release and it's slow as well as he cannot dunk. Actually he can, he's got a 75 dunk, but that's not very good. So no post game, good shooting though, but his release is very slow. Good ball handle, I'm passing. Good defense, um, decent rebounding, good speed and lateral quickness as well. He has 32 Hall of Fame, 17 golds, Catch and shoot, floor general, difficult shots, dimer, pick dodger, clamps, green machine, unpluckable, quick first step, trapper, contact finisher, downhill handle today. And he has gold pogo stick, gold intimidator, gold flexible release, gold quick draw and range. That is not the greatest. It's still good. Don't get me wrong, but Gold Quick Draw with this release is terrible. He needs at least Hall of Fame. And Gold Range, it's good, but not going to make him an exceptional card. Um, also, this Diamond Dennis Scott, 6 foot 8, 2 guard, and small forward. No post game, but incredible shooting. Incredible free throw, great driving dunk, good ball handle on passing, great defense as well. Not very good rebounding, good speed and great lateral quickness. So he is great defensively especially, but he can shoot threes and all sorts. 25 Hall of Fames, 18 golds. Catch and shoot, corner specialist, difficult shots, range extender, quick draw, pit pocket, pick dodger, clamps, green machine, flexible release, intimidator, pogo stick, contact finisher, quick first step, downhill, and gold badges. Um, he's got heart crusher, defensive leader. Um, so yeah, this is an incredible, incredible card. And here's all the important badges on Hall of Fame. So next up is this Kevin Love, I believe. Actually, before I check um, Kevin Love out, I'm just checking this Kareem's price because he may be joining the squad again. So this Kevin Love... Comparing him to Tim Duncan, I will. Um, he's not got as good a post game, although still great post game. Incredible shooting though, and he has a faster release than Tim Duncan, even if I haven't used him. Great standing and driving dunk, but here is a problem. 74 ball handle, not great passing. Decent defense, not incredible though. Decent interior D, well actually that's the best thing. Thrist is okay. Good rebounding though. Um, decent speed, not great lateral quickness for Opal these days. So he looks average so far. 41 Hall of Fame's 22 golds. Catch and shoot, difficult shots, pick and popper, brick wall, lob city finisher, dimer, rim protector, range extender, quick draw, intimidator, rebound chaser, pogo stick, green machine, back down punisher, flexible release, deep fades, dream shake, and then gold badges. Gold quick first step, 
I'm Plackable, Interceptor, Defensive Leader, Clamps, Pick Dodger, Floor General. So good card, but nothing spectacular. I'd recommend Kevin Love is going for about 260k, that one is. What's Blake Griffin going for? Oh, almost 100k more. Um, if you see Blake within about 20k of Kevin Love, just pick up this Blake Griffin because he's basically the same card with better animations. Next up, the last player, Mitch Richmond, who's only 140k, 6 foot 5 2 guard, so he is undersized, but you can use him as like just a shooter and he will be great. So, not bad post game for shooting guard. Incredible shooting, great driving dunk, great ball handle and passing, good perimeter D and steal, decent interior D, not great block, decent rebounding, great speed and lateral quickness. Now, on to his badges 40 Hall of Fames, 14 golds. Catch and shoot, difficult shot, floor general, dimer, pickpocket, pick dodger, clamps, range extender, quick draw, intimidator, trapper, green machine, flexible release, downhill, handle sedates, unpluckable, quick first step. And then a whole lot of gold badges such as pogo stick, rebound chaser. So this card's going to be exceptional. Obviously, Glenn Rice is better, although I think he's better than Brandon Roy. Um, he's probably better than James Harden, almost. Obviously, Kobe's probably better. Dwayne Wade plays point guard. He's better than Levine, definitely better than Richardson. So he's definitely a top opal shooting guard. Now, I think I will get into a game. So, my opponent has Walter Davis, Kurilenko, and Eddie Curry. So, a great team. Probably better than mine. Here's Dennis Scott attacking the hoop. And he's laying it in there. And we force a shot clock violation there. Can the Sam Cassell get a shot off? His release is very slow. And I green with Tim Duncan. That is extremely rare. Dennis Scott is open. And that's another green light. This seems so much easier to green than on my career, which I've been focusing on. Um, And he greens yet again. So Sam Cassell taking it in and getting the dunk. I thought he had a 25 driving dunk, but I think it's now 75. He tries to keep it in, but that's not working out, and Dennis Scott is getting the dunk. He's going to... I thought he was going to attack the hoop, but he still hits mid-range. Here's Sam Cassell taking it in again. This Sam Cassell is actually not playing too bad. I thought he would be worse, but obviously I haven't really taken a shot with him other than driving dunks. Sam Cassell taking it in and dunking on Andre Kurilenko there. Nice job by him. Hopefully we can clamp up on the defensive end. Dennis Scott is a great defender. That's a very early. Surely that's not going in. It isn't. But my opponent's getting a post hook. Here's Dennis Scott. And that was a lucky position. We almost turned it over. Sam Cassell. What's his jump shot like? Very slow. But can he knock down this one? Yes, he can. That's a green light. Now, will we get Kiki Vandway on full drop? Apparently, he is still available. So, we get an Andre Iguodala rewards pack. Um, yeah, not too bad, but that is the video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, as well as follow me on Twitter and other social media. Bye.